Hi, Catherine. I hope you're doing well. I just kind of wanted to go over um, this item with you. So let me open up another window. Close this up. I think it was... I just kind of want to go over the actual item record with you so we can just kind of get a quick understanding um, just so you can use preferences and you can kind of just dissect it yourself in the future. Um, so first I'm going to go to the purchasing inventory tab and when you go to the purchasing inventory tab you can see in here that they have drop ship I they have these preferences. Do you want to be a drop ship item or do you want to be a special order item? And um, I'm not sure if it's a, diff a different case scenario. I don't remember exactly um, when talking about this item. But on the other items, we have special order item. And special order item is uh, when you order something from a vendor and a and it's for a specific customer, but you actually receive it into inventory. Right, and then a other, uh, and then a dropship item is when you order something for for a customer from the vendor, but the vendor ships it directly to the customer. And we chose special order item be, um, because Tom and Ed said that they consider the the uh, flooring to be inside the inventory while it's being shipped from China to the US, so while it's on the boat, right? And they have it shipped in inventory and they wanted to do that because they want to be able to invoice the customer as soon as possible, essentially. And uh, yeah, so it's dropship, so we have dropship item. And I'm gonna kinda just go to the original purchase order that you told me and we go here, we go down. This is the item that you're talking about, cabinetry. You can go to the later records, just kinda show you this path. You can open up the purchase order. Right, the purchase order, you can see the purchase order is to uh, TB Brands International. Actually, there's one more thing I want to show you. When we also go here, we can also scroll down and we can go to vendors. And we can see that these are the vendors that you guys have a relationship with. And um, when it's TP Brands Import, the preferred vendor is China. When it's TP Brands Worldwide, um, the preferred vendor is your intercompany transaction with TB Brands International. And then this is another option more with this. This isn't currently set as preferred. You can only have one preferred per uh, subsidiary. But yeah, back down to the purchase order. We can see here, this and such. And then this is the intercompany purchase order that you paired. And uh, you go down here, you can see that this is TB Brands import with this purchase order. And there, we are selling it to worldwide. And uh, this is the item. And then when I go to related records, I can see that there is no related records for the purchase order, which you said is essentially the issue. So when this does happen, I'm, I'm gonna have to look into why that doesn't happen. But when this does happen, what you wanna do is you actually wanna go over to a special order. And I'm also gonna look into, I just don't have, I wanted to have a quick response to you, um, but uh, I have to look into why this says special order versus drop shipment. But when this in this case scenario, if a purchase order is not created automatically, what you do is you scroll down to the sales order, to the line item, and you go to create purchase order. It says create PO, and you hit special order. All right, so this is the special order. So you'd go in here and do more wood cabinetry. And you essentially go through... Uh, the same steps. I don't know what your pricing is. You, you are able to edit it. So I'm just going to allow you to hit, I'm just going to save it, go ahead and save it for you and then reference you this transaction to you. But I hope this was um, easy to understand. Uh, I'll be more than happy to meet with you. Um, if you want to meet, I won't be able to make time until um, late this evening, like around 5 or 6 p.m. or uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow would be the best for me. Thank you.